Hey guys, doing a video here on some additions to my tank, coral wise. Uh, the one you're seeing here is my grafted uh, torch. It's rust on one side and highlighter on the other. Uh, this one I got rid of. So um, I fragged up some of it and sold it, traded some of the other. Um, so that ex this exact one right here is about five heads Rasta and it was four heads highlighter on the other side. Um, so it's a nice big piece that I cut up. Uh, you can see kind of a close up here of what the Rasta side looked like. Very dark stem with those super bright yellow tips. And then the highlighter side was a dark stem with super bright neon green tips. Uh, it's a very pretty piece. Uh, again, fully grafted torch, one continuous skeleton with both different colors of torch on it. Uh, that thing is fully gone. Um, also note on this trade that I did, um, I got uh, I fragged up three heads of my gold stem hammer, and that went with it as well. So. I traded a good chunk of it and a few of the pieces that I cut up I sold and then I took that money and uh, bought some other corals off of Craigslist and um, got rid of this. I'm going to show you exactly what I got in its place. Alright, so here's everything that uh, I got from this trade and sell. Again, some of it I traded for other corals um, everything that you see on this frag rack here with the exception of that wwc aussie blue gold hammer that big eight head piece there um, everything else was gotten in trade that one um, i used the money that i got from the sell to buy that off of craigslist so um, all in all for that uh, grafted torch and three heads of my gold stem hammer i got the eight heads of that gold torch seven heads of that orange torch the zuas framer and that mushroom here's an up close look at the wwc aussie blue gold hammer very pretty piece um, the gold shines really well the blue shines really well it's a really nice piece Here's an up close look at the orange hammer and we'll see that here a little bit again kind of looking at it from a video side going through each and every piece here uh, first we have this zoa piece uh, you can see there's some very nice zoas in there um, tucked around some very common pallies but uh, those zoas are very nice um, would have been nice if it was a whole thing of those Zoas, but hey, I'll take what I got there. Also got this uh, hairy mushroom. Um, it was one, but the way it was split, it, it I cut it into two. And then I got some red pallies here. Uh, don't know what kind they are, but um, very nice. Uh, very shiny under the blue. Nice red pallies here. Um, again, full frag plug of those, full frag plug of the others. And then I've got this uh, green framer here. Um, it's a single head, very nice little piece. It is very different from this framer. So this framer you guys have seen before in my tank. Um, you can see they're both green framers, but this is a darker kind of two different colors, like that dark green. Um, and this one is that very light uh, glowy chartreuse type green so two different types of framer um, and then I've got my orange hammer here and you can see there's some pink to it especially where you can see kind of around the edges um, there is some pink on there it is five very full heads two heads looked like they were dying when I got it uh, they are bouncing back quick so technically seven heads five of them really full and nice in the uh, and two of them you can kind of see them down off the side there. They're, they're very small. They weren't in the best condition, but they are definitely bouncing back and doing very well. Uh, this is a real pretty piece. I was excited to get it. And then of course, the Aussie blue gold hammer. 
um, favorite piece of the whole trade here um, it's a very pretty piece eight full heads on it uh, you can see the real nice color in there real deep color down all the way down the whole length of the stem and that gold color is great and I really like the nice C shape to uh, the top of each tentacle there it's not just that blunt end it's got that real nice traditional C shape on the end um, again this is the WWC Aussie blue gold hammer um, very nice piece absolutely love it all right so that was a look at it with the flow slowed down a lot uh, here's another look at all of them with the flow um, essentially off you can see a few little ripples left as it's slowing down um, but turn the flow off to get kind of a different look here uh, to see it a little bit closer and again you can see all those nice little um, zoas tucked in there we've got the gold gold blue hammer blue gold hammer um, we've got our orange hammer that has some nice pink tones to it and uh, here's a look through the glass um, still looks gorgeous going through the glass uh, of course everything looks better looking top down but through the glass these all still look great so uh, I'm very pleased with uh, what I got out of what I got rid of and uh, I think it was a great deal uh, we're going to see it here again. This was, uh, let it sit on my frad rack for a couple weeks. And then I put it up on the rockwork. So we're going to see it here in a second up on the rockwork. So you can see where it's been placed. So here it is up on the rockwork. Um, again, I, I turned the flow off for this. So uh, you can get a good look at it. Uh, all the little movement there is the, the fish just moving the water around. Um, so this one became my centerpiece. I went in the exact location that the torch that I got rid of was at. Um, initially set these guys up there and one of my other torches was reaching out to it and uh, the gold hammer was not responding well. It was shriveling up all its heads so had to move all the torches out of the center of the tank. They're now on an end. Um, and these guys took the center stage um, Torches again very beautiful love my torches, but uh, these guys uh, for me right now are The hot pieces that that I have and um, Want to showcase them in the center of the tank You can kind of see off to the side there when I was showing that framer where I had moved one of my torches um, here is the red zoas or the red pallies uh, placed on the rock work um, just kind of fill in a few gaps in between uh, the euphilia that I have placed in there and then down below there um, tucked in you can see the other uh, zoas and pallies that I put down and kind of at the base to just do a little cover down at the bottom of the rock work and then we have uh, the mushroom just kind of hidden down there underneath the hammer as well it's uh, sitting next to my uh, Yuma mushrooms and so the little zoas here I'm not a hundred percent what kind they are the pallies on there they're the standard ones that are that'll grow quick and kind of cover quick uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that yet for now they're sitting on the rock we'll we'll see where we go I definitely like the little zoas that are on the plug with them though one last look at uh, this guy so nice up close of the Aussie blue gold um, very pretty piece again it's the new centerpiece of the tank for the time being um, the orange pink hammer is is right next to it as a complement to that centerpiece um, just two great new additions um, hopefully you liked what you saw here um, give me a like give me a subscribe and uh, I'll get more content out soon. Uh, if you want to check out the last few seconds of this video to see a little more placement, go ahead and check it out for a few more seconds here. Um, and I'll get more content out soon. Thanks, guys.